Hi everybody, it's that time for the Maker's Challenge. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Maker's Challenge, what it is is uh, a shout out from Theo Kellison who called out a bunch of other channels um, in the Rock County community to make anything out of stone. And uh, I was in invited uh, last year to be a part of it and was invited again this year. So thank you, Theo. For this year's project, I decided to make an agate kaleidoscope, but I'm going to make it out of an old mag light that I have. Um, it's a non-working one, so don't worry, I'm not ruining a perfectly good old mag light, but I'm going to turn this into an agate kaleidoscope. So let's get this project started. All right, so I got my mag light here, and what I'm gonna have to do is empty out all the contents, which I actually already have, and I'm going to need to drill a hole in the end here for an eye hole. I have this glass here because I'm going to need to have two layers. Here I have the plastic um, lens at the end, but I'm gonna need a second layer, so that's what this glass here is for. I'm going to need to cut it to fit inside of there, which is what these are here for because I'm going to need safety glasses when I cut that. And then I have just three strips of reflective mirror. Um, it's not real mirror, so I'm crossing my fingers that it works, um, but I'm going to put them at a triangle inside the tube here. <coughs> and then at the very end, in between the two uh, two lenses at the end, I will add all of my agates that I have there and cross our fingers that it works. Hopefully we end up with a really cool agate kaleidoscope here. So I'm going to go cut this to size. I'm only going to need it to be able to fit at the end there. So I'm gonna go cut that and drill a hole in my end piece here for my eyepiece and uh, go from there. So I got my glass all cut perfect to the size I need it to fit right inside here and got my eye hole. I cleaned up the edges a little bit here with my Dremel just so uh, it's not sharp edges there. And then I'll be using, uh, next I'll be using this uh, windshield and glass seal for like a glue to glue my glass inside here. I'm just going to put some glue just a little bit right ar around the edge here and uh, let that dry and cure and seal and then I'll move on to the next step.
Okay, now that that's done, the next thing to do is to put these reflective mirrors inside the tube in a triangle shape. And if uh, any of you are going to try this at home, you want to make sure that the reflective side is inward. So you're going to carefully slide these in with the reflective side on the inside into the tube. And so that's what I'm going to do and um, I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, now I'm done with that. Here you can see what it looks like. And uh, it didn't quite fit actually, so uh, my genius husband uh, recommended me putting a piece of paper around it and uh, that's all it took to make it fit just right in there and uh, I think it's going to look awesome <laughs> so next uh, step is to put the rest together put some agates in there and check it out. Time to go check it out.
Okay, now that was way cool, right? Okay, but but get this that that's not even all you can do with this. The possibilities with this thing is is just endless. Not only can you put tumbled stones in the end, but if you take them out, they're still in there now. But if you take out the tumbled stones, you can hold um you can you can look at towers and slabs and and tumbled stones anything that passes light see how this passes light through it as long as it passes light through it you can just stick them up to the very end or if it fits inside there you can put put them right inside there or even even these towers you could just put them up right to the end and and look through and you will be just totally amazed. I am going to throw some still shots of what some of these look like through this kaleidoscope. It's a piece of petrified wood. And uh, yeah, you guys, it, it's, it's just amazing. Amazing. I'm just loving this thing. Check this out. This concludes my project for the Makers Challenge this year. Be sure to check out all the other channels and creators involved in this challenge. I will leave a, a list of all those other creators in the description and show them some love and check out what, what they do. I'm sure there'll be some epic projects out there. And uh, thank you again, Theo, for inviting me. I had a blast, blast with this project. And uh, I'm looking forward already to next year. So thanks again. And thanks for watching, everyone. 